Hi there, I'm Lara from 5 out of 4 Patterns and welcome to Sewing School. Today we continue on our journey through gathering. We're going to talk about gathering with our serger. Just a little bit about our serger first though. I'm using a Brother 1034D. You may have a different serger altogether and that's okay. You just may have to do some practicing uh, to get the settings just right. So let's jump right in. Before we get started gathering anything, we're going to need to look at our settings. We're going to need to move our stitch length up to a 4 and our differential feed is going to need to be adjusted. Now, I'm using the 1034D and for I know other people have different techniques of doing this on their serger, but I don't change any of my tension levels. I haven't needed to do that. Um, you may need to do that. You'll just, this takes practice, so you're just going to have to practice a little bit. What I've also done for your benefit is I had put black in the uh, black thread in the needles uh, because that's what's going to loosen or tighten our uh, our gather and uh, it'll make it easier for you to see. So let's let's get started. I like to uh, turn off my my knife uh, because I don't want to cut into the fabric. I don't want to lose my seam allowance at all. So we're not going to. Uh, we're not going to use the knife. In fact, we're going to we're going to use we're not even going to go all the way to the edge here. We're going to come right in here. Whoops. We're going to come right in here to start. Okay. Do you see where I'm lining up there? Right with the knife. So right before the knife cuts. So you don't have to turn off the knife if you don't want to. I just prefer to do that just for safety. I don't want to lose my seam allowance. If you want to cut off, uh, then I would add to your seam allowance. So we've we've made our adjustments. Let's see how we do. Now you can see it's already beginning to, to ruffle a bit. So it's most important that you, you keep a tail so that you can lengthen it um, or you can tighten it to make it a, a fuller, tighter, tighter gather. So you can see the gather, the ruffle is not terribly tight and that's okay. So if you're gonna need to tighten it, then you wanna separate out here. Whoopsies, let me get here. So we can see the the uh, needle threads. So you want those, okay? Oops. All right. And that's going to give you the ability to tighten it. You see how that works? Pretty simple. It's 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 pretty nice. I really I, I enjoy this technique as well. All the techniques are pretty fun in my opinion. Uh, so you go, I do a little bit from one side, and then I go to the other side, and I locate my needles or needle uh, thread, oops, maybe, there we go, and I gather in from that side as well. So there you have it. That is how you gather with a serger. It is very simple. Um, this is the way I, when I want to save time, this is my go-to method and I do it the same way every time. So, and it's a pretty nice looking gather. That's how to gather with a serger. Talk about a time saver. When we need to save time, but we still need a nice gather, let's go to our surgery if we've got one. I hope you'll join us next time on Sewing School. Bye.